I'm going to play a beautiful song for a young lady who have called and requested that song, Alpha and Omega. And I'm going to come back and speak to a beautiful sister in Christ who came to the Lord around the same time when we came to the Lord. And she's on fire for the Lord, moving forward in Jesus. And we're going to come back and speak to her. So what I want to say before I play this song, ask God, say God, a new year. I want you to give me the desire that I can walk with you. I want to make sure that if my light goes out in 2017, I will stand before you as one who have lived for you. That you will count me righteous. You will count me worthy to inherit eternal life. Brethren, that is what you and I need. Hallelujah. So don't let nobody seduce you with no foolish talk about 2017. You're going to have this. You, yes, we wish we could have this. It's true. Yes. But we want to have the fullness of God in our life that if our light should go out in 2017, we can stand in the presence of God because we have done all. And now we're going to stand. Amen. So be encouraged this morning. We're coming back with a beautiful friend in the studio. And Brother Edwin is still here. Here we go. Alpha and Omega. Worship him wherever you are. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that makes the lame to walk. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that makes the link to us. Oh, yeah. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. For an Omega
We worship his name. I am so proud to be a Christian. I'm so proud to be born again. I'm so proud to be a child of God. I cry all the time because I know my life before, you see. People can say what they want about you. That's you. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. I've been that way. But when I saw what God has done in my life, brethren, I bless his name. My mother is so proud of me. And she always used to pray for me. You know what I mean? You know, your mother sometimes, you know, they just, they wish the best for you. They don't know what to do. You know? And my mother is so happy to know I'm in Christ. And I pray that everyone that listens to Choice Radio, you have the comfort that you are a Christian. Very important for every believer. As you step into 2017, make sure that you are confident to be called a Christian. A child of God that cannot live like the world. You cannot no longer do what the world is doing. You are comfortable to be called strange. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is one of the foundation for a believer in Jesus. Because why? God wants us to be on purpose for him. Very important. If you're going to get any revelation from the Lord, you must be on purpose for God. Your mind is made up. I don't care what you tell me. I am born again. I'm a child of the Lord. I cannot do this anymore. I cannot say this anymore. I cannot listen to this anymore. I'm a child of God. People could say what they want about you. But when you are purpose in your heart for the Lord, let me tell you this. God is going to show you some revelation. God is going to show you some scriptures. God is going to unfold some things before you that men can be big, they can be educated, and they cannot explain it. They can't unfold it. I've been listening to many people talking about the thorn in the flesh. This thorn in the flesh. I I've been listening. I've been watching some television back in the islands, and I hear people talking about the thorn in the flesh, and they're coming close, many of them. But the point is. Flesh and spirit is always at war. So Paul had a thorn in his flesh. He had a thorn that his bodily functions wanted him to act exalted. His flesh wanted him to pretend that he was a man of God. He wanted to do things to prove he was big. And God said, uh uh, my grace is sufficient for you. Keep walking in my spirit. Just do what you know you're supposed to do. Don't over-exalt yourself. Don't try to prove nothing to nobody. So that was the turn. His flesh wanted to present himself as if he was something. But his spirit is saying, take it easy. Do what do for God. Do what you know is right. You don't have to put on nothing else. <laughs> so the flesh and the spirit was having a war. The flesh is playing a church man, but the spirit is living contrary to the will of God. <laughs> so that's a thorn in the flesh because your flesh is overriding who you really are or who you should be. So it's important when our purpose is for the spiritual things that exalt the power of God. Amen. We bless Jesus. My sister, come to your microphone and let's say hi this morning and uh, just be comfortable <laughs> as you can be. Amen, amen. Blessing, Sister amen. Carol. How Blessings are you today? Blessing, Minister Stryker. I am blessed and highly favored. And I just want to say, it is such a good thing to be in the body of Christ. It is such a good thing to know that you are a believer trusting in the word of God. It is a good thing. It makes my soul happy. Hallelujah. It makes my soul happy. And I'm blessed to be here today. It's a new year. And you know, I looked at I looked at you, Minister Straker, and then I looked at um, brother Edwin. my brother Edwin, and you know, it brings a joy in my heart. And the reason it brings a joy in my heart is because we were out there, and we all got saved, and we are still doing what we say we wanted to do for God. We are holding on to the hands of God, and we are going forward. So many people has come before and after us, and did not hold on, but here we are practicing what we preach 
practicing what we know, the word of God, teaching the word of God, edifying the body of Christ, giving them wisdom, giving them knowledge as God would give unto us. So I'm just happy to be among great men of God today. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. And, and LA is a blessing for me. And I tell people all the time, you know, you can talk what you want about me. You know, and I was coming back on the plane and I was, I was just saying to the Lord in the sense that, you know, as much as you try to do the will of God, you know, you have daily people you might meet along the way and they no longer want to walk with you. No. They no longer want to participate mm -hmm. because you're talking some strong stuff yes. or you're saying stuff that is contrary so to what they, what they believe or yeah. what they've been doing and, and the Lord was showing me read 1 Corinthians yeah. read 2 Corinthians so I'm just thinking well I mean I read the scriptures all the time mm -hmm. but what I read is the same thing that the Lord is saying all over the Bible all the time. be holy for mm -hmm. I am holy yeah. you are a chosen people yeah. I have called you from darkness me Yes. I, God, have called you from Call darkness from the, into, into marvelous light. Yes. I have given you the promise of eternal life. Yes. What is so hard for you to understand? Nothing is too hard. And I, and I can <laughs> testify about being holy. My testimony can help a lot of people because I remember when I used to live in house with my son father. And it's a testimony. I was living in a house with my son father. And yes, going to church but still having sex, Minister Straker. And one night, the, 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 the Spirit of God wake me up. And I did not know the Bible that good because I was a new believer. But I went into Corinthians. I remember when I opened the Bible, it was just C. I saw it C. But when later on, I realized it was Corinthians. And in Corinthians, he tell you that your body is the temple of the Lord and nothing unclean shall enter into it. And I said, but God, why are you giving me this? And the Spirit of God said, wait, look, and look at what I'm showing you. Be ye holy. Your body needs to be clean so I can use you. Because God do not dwell in an unclean vessel. We have to be holy with our body so that God can minister to us. And when he, when he said, wait, a few minutes after whatever took place was about to take place. And I said, no. And from that day forth, Minister Straker, Brother Edwin, I walk circumspect before God. Be ye holy because I am holy. Mean that my body is also the temple of God and I need to walk in a clean vessel so that God can use me. Most of, in these days, we don't know that holiness is still righteousness. We don't know that. We don't know that. We want to be here and do that. But God, if God is telling me that as a young believer, he's telling you also because his word never changed. The word of God says his will is his word and his word is his will. So that don't change. So when we, when we talk about righteousness, we have to know what God is requiring of us to walk righteous before him. Bless Amen. God. Bless God. Amen. And what is crucial about this? God know the intention of the heart mm -hmm. of the individual. Mm -hmm. If God know that you are on purpose, that you know in your heart, I really want to serve God, yes. you know, he will reveal deeper things to you yes. and bring you closer to see what you're going to do with it right. because God is a loving God he gives us a grace period yes, he does. when I met my wife we had a grace period mm -hmm. when we did all kind of stuff whatever mm -hmm. but when God knew that we know enough of the Bible That's right. he started to bring himself out Even more. between me and my mm -hmm. wife mm -hmm. and my wife said look I, this cannot continue no. and I see? say well girl that cannot continue for true Paul, because Paul the Lord has been a, so, mm -hmm. Paul said Go she'll sin a bong God forbid you yes, understand uh, yes he said she'll sin a bong in us God forbid so that means when we know better we do better we know the word of God what is the word telling us about our life because I just always say I don't need a prophecy for nobody to tell me about myself God will tell me what he wants to tell me. If he wants to call me a harlot, if he wants to call me a liar, if he wants to call me a thief, whatever he wants to tell me, all I have to do is open the word of God. <laughs> and he will tell us. We may not like what he's telling us that day. Because God, I know sometimes I open the Bible and I see things and I say, that is not for me. But guess what, Minister Straker? When you go back the next day, he brings you to the right. He brings you right back to that scripture. Yes, he confirm it. He confirming it again. Mm -hmm. So I don't need nobody to tell me that my life should not be in order. God already tell me how to walk circumspect before him. What I need to do now is to obey 
God and let him do what he needs to do in my life. Amen. Amen. And once you obey one part, mm -hmm. he's able to take you inside further. Part. Yes. Because God is here and he said he's going to lead you into all, all truth. truth. Yes. Now, this all truth, the Lord was showing me this in, in the word of God. He's like, look, there are some people who have some truth because mm -hmm. as I was quoting before in the book of Revelation, mm -hmm. he said, I know your works. Yes. I know you're doing all yes. these things. Mm -hmm. um, you know, mm -hmm. but. Yes, but. I have a few things against you. That's right. And if you don't get it right, I, God, will do this. That's no, right. When the Lord is showing me this, I'm saying, now, people can listen to the radio and mm -hmm. think what they want. Mm -hmm. You have to understand. God is the same God before. That's He's the right. same God now. He doesn't mm -hmm. change nothing. He don't change. Nope. We are the one that keep changing over and over Amen. and thinking because we get bright mm -hmm. and we have so much brain, we feel now we could take we God do. things and, and make it how it we want. But mm -hmm. guess what it is? God will allow you to take something and make it what you want. Yes. Because the Bible said the word of God know the intention Kings of the of heart of man. That's right. So Amen. if he know because of your congregation, mm -hmm. you don't want to tell them certain things because they will stop coming here and they mm -hmm. will find another place with, with that do what they what they want to yeah. do. They will go. You feel you don't want to tell them the truth. So he's going to let you believe that lie. Right. So you will deceive them while you deceive in your own self to believe that God doesn't want you to say what you're supposed to say. Yes. That's the word of God. God would said that. And this scripture is so, my beloved sister, in the name of Jesus, I'm going to tell anybody that. Mm -hmm. This word of God, you know what God does? He illuminates a part of the scripture for a yes. time and a season. Yes. Like, okay. <laughs> you mm -hmm. understand that, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Like, there's a time and a season he, when yes, he, he keep reveal, yes. on a certain path mm -hmm, for a while mm -hmm. to make sure you totally That's consume right. it. You yes. eat it. You yes. have it. You totally know that. Yes. That is, is what, what I'm saying. saying. Yes. Every time he, I open the mm -hmm. Bible, he's saying the same, same thing, thing over, over, That's over, right. over, over, mm -hmm. over, over, over. For me to understand. To make sure he mm -hmm. know that this is what I'm saying. That's Even right. if you try to read something else, when you turn the Bible, I'm You're putting you something to another scripture that says the same thing to the other scripture. Amen. Yep. So what the word of God is saying, that he God will give them strong delusion yes. to believe a lie for yes. so what? that they shall be damned Oof. with them that believe not the love of the truth and that's a dangerous place Mr. Straker uh, it is too dangerous it is a very dangerous place to be mm, let me read it for you I'm going to read it now what God is saying let's read Second Thessalonians 2 mm -hmm. and we're taking it from 7 he said for the mystery of iniquity do it already work now that same scripture is saying because of iniquity mm -hmm. the love of many shall wax, wax cold. Yes. There are many people in church that are cold of because course. there are so much contrariness to God happening within That's the right. worlds of what people call church. Yes. It gives you no spiritual motivation right. to live for God. That's right. So now you are consumed by that contrary mm -hmm. doctrine mm -hmm. and you freeze. Yes. You're there, but you're not there. Because it's just emotion you're going through now. Yes, you you, you, you are consumed mm -hmm. by contrary doctrine that yes. does not bring life. life to you, no? So there is no spiritual life. No. There is life physically mm -hmm. because you're operating, but there is no spiritual, spiritual life, life to you. Right. So you cannot really live in the spirit. No. Now hear this. For the mystery of iniquity. Mm -hmm. Now, when we say the mystery of iniquity, so you say, well, oh, why is that mystery? Well, to you, it to doesn't me. look like iniquity, mm -hmm. but it is contrary to the doctrine of Christ. That's so right. it's iniquity to God, it period. Is. Don't it care is. what you think about it. it. Is. Like a man was telling me, oh, well, it is the blood of Christ. I said, no, brother, mm -hmm. you're wrong. Mm -hmm. This is not about the blood of Christ. First nope. of all, Jesus was not born on the 25th. Come on. Don't care what you want to tell me. Mm -hmm. This is your brain that is telling you mm -hmm. this is about Jesus. Mm -hmm. It's your brain. Really good. Mm -hmm. But if you agree to make that be your doctrine, so, so be, be it unto you. So be it. God will mm -hmm. let that be your doctrine. That's right. Every Christmas day you're going to tell them it's this is about Christmas. Jesus. Yes. Because that's how far you want to go with God. Yes. When you want to go with Jesus, he's going to show you, son, mm -hmm. all this thing that was done was for one purpose and one, one purpose, purpose only. only. Mm -hmm. For the repentance and the remission sin. of sin. sin. That's why I came. Yes. Yes. I already existed before. Yes. I live for eternity. Amen. I just manifested to a baby. That's right. <laughs> you understand me? Yes. It doesn't mean that I came as a child. I yes. manifested as a child yes. to live among you to yes. declare, thus said the Lord That's to you. That's right. That's right. But Amen. I already existed. Yes. 
Okay? Yes. I don't want you to go back there mm-hmm. because there is no fruitfulness in my birth. That's right. Yes, mm-hmm. I came to a virgin. Yes. yes. But there is no fruitfulness, no fruitfulness to the there. world through my birth. That's right. My birth is important. Yes. 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 Mm-hmm. Preach the word, be instant in season and out, out of season. season. Yes. All scriptures are for Reproach. reproof, Re- reproof. For, doctrine, a doctrine for whatever and it is. Else. Yes. yes. But the point he's making is it is irrelevant to the cause of God. Yes. It's irrelevant. It's unirrelevant to what I want to see happen in the life of people who don't know me. Yeah. I have died for them. Yeah. So tell them about my death, yes. burial, and resurrection, and resurrection that they can appreciate yes. the gift of the Father, yes. that they can come into, into service for God. Yes. Yes. Don't waste time with the devil trying to That's fool right. people to go and buy all things and That's do all right. things and mm-hmm. talk about Not it, talk about my birth. To God. And guess what they do again? What the Lord showed me about this again, my sister. Stuff. He said, listen to people call the radio and talk about oh da, 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 da. He said, what do they preach on Christmas Day? They don't preach repentance. No, they don't. They preach about a child in a manger they, and all this stuff. So they're actually fulfilling what they say they're not yes. fulfilling. So they will say, we know it's not the blood of Christ. Well, if you know that, why you don't why don't you ask the spirit for a message on Christmas Day? That's right. When the church is full, when you can hammer them about sin That's right. and hammer them mm-hmm. to live right. Mm-hmm. No. You give no. them what they want. You give them what they want because you want to be popular. And when you want to be popular, you prefer to have people in the church that saying, 25th of December is Christmas Day. Who tell you the 25th of December is Christmas Day? Why don't you put preach repentance? Well, the Why po- don't you come right. and say, you know, <laughs> you're living in sin today. You know, this is what we need to do. We need to go out and tell people, listen, Christ come, Christ died for us. He resurrect. He did it for a cause. What is the cause? So that we can have eternal life through Christ. Hallelujah. But they're, but they're not doing that. They want to just do what the people want. To Hallelujah. Popular. Glory to God. So what I'm saying is now, God will reveal things mm-hmm. under the cover. Yes. Even if you're saying what you're saying, mm-hmm. God is going to show you. You're just saying that, That's but you right. don't mean what you're That's saying. Right. Because if you know that this is not the birth that I was born, mm-hmm. and your purpose is for my purpose, on that day, I will give you the scripture. That's right. That those who come in looking to hear about a baby will hear, thus say the Lord. You see? But you already planned. Mm-hmm. Today, I'm telling them about a baby. Mm-hmm. I'm telling them about a manger. Your mind is already made up. You're not telling them nothing else because the skit is already planned for yes. the church. The church is already decorated. Of course, they have the you, program. Yeah. And God is not involved in that program. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. There's a program yes, God. without God. Can you see the word of God said that he's a rewarder to those who seek him. Diligently, so, diligently seek him. Seek yes, him. Hallelujah. So if you seek God for something, he will give you a minister striker and, you know, God reveal his word. God confirm his word. I was not here earlier on. But what I had to do when I walk in, you were saying it. God already confirmed his word. But they do not seek God. They don't seek God. They don't know how to seek God. Because everything they do is emotion. Everything they do because they've been in church so long. That everything is just motion. You know how to clap. You know how to preach the right word. You know how to do everything to for the people to appreciate you. But mm-hmm. seeking the gospel... They're not doing that. They're not seeking the word. They're not looking into the word for a revelation of the word. They're not doing none of that. Mm-hmm. It is just a program. It's a program. It's but a program. We, we bless God for Amen. salvation today, yes. my sister. And as you're here with us today sharing, yes. um, y- you know, I want you to give us a little bit about your personal testimony coming into Christ because I could remember <laughs> when I was here, we, we I used to play one hour <laughs> gospel. Yes. And one time you had called me and said, you know, Every time you change from the gospel mm-hmm. and you go back to the world music, I get confused. Yes. yes. I remember you told me that yes. one time, my sister, <laughs> and the following week, the Lord just totally threw mm-hmm. me down inside that studio here. Yes. He says, stop it. Yes. I remember, people probably hear me give that testimony, right? Now hear this. Mm-hmm. I used to play one hour gospel before All because I had an encounter with God. Yes. I was going to Canada to mm-hmm. do a show. You know, I was to be performing mm-hmm. and stuff like that. And my car ran out of gas right before I, I reached Canada province. Mm-hmm. And the car ran without gas so from good. that way mm-hmm. until I reached four hours away, yes. five hours away yes. without gas. And God will do that. I promise God mm-hmm. I'm going to play one hour on the radio in gospel music if you only get me to Canada mm-hmm. because I got arrested the same day the, 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 the money they charged me for the ticket was exactly what I had in my pocket mm-hmm. and when I paid them the money I went to a gas station my credit card declined 
So the car was out of gas. So I was going to Toronto to do a performance that day. And I say, God, if you only get me, just like that, I said mm -hmm. it. I say, God, I mean, if you only get me to Canada, <laughs> I say it just like that. Yes. If you only get me to Canada, I will play one hour of gospel music on the radio. I said yes. that. Yes. So when I came back, God also provided a, a driver to drive me back to back New York, to New York. in Canada. Mm -hmm. When I finished performing, a young lady came up to me and said, who made the song that you sang, or whatever song you did? I said, um, this guy, she said, oh, you know, I'm going to him in New York to record mm. my album. I said, do you drive? She said, sure. That's my car. I'll drive it. I said, how you plan to go down? She said, well, you know. I said, why don't you drive my car down? She mm. said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so she drove my car back to New York for me. Mm -hmm. So I started playing one hour gospel. Yeah. And then people start coming to Christ and mm -hmm. people start getting, you know, mm -hmm. into God and stuff like that. One yeah. hour gospel. So I think that the week before, I totally con transform 100% to God yes. I think you and some other caller but mm -hmm. I remember you had yes. called me and you said you know whenever you play that one hour gospel my soul is so lifted, lifted up, up. Mm -hmm. then when you change back and start to play the world Confused music me. I get so confused yes. So I think I told you, well, sister, that's the way it is, you know. Yes. I yes. think I just told you, yes, well, that's you just told me that. Yeah, yes. something like that. <laughs> so, yes. so guess what happened? So the Lord Moby say, what? You mm. telling my daughter that's the way it is? Are you crazy? <laughs> my daughter is lifted up when my music is played. Yes. When you play world music, she says she confused. You mm. tell her that's the way it is. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> so the following week, I came here and I was playing the one hour gospel. Mm -hmm. After I tried to change, well, something happened before in the studio with one of the CDs. You see how this thing over here? Yes. This side played this song and this side played the other song. Yes. A young lady called and requested a song and when I put my finger to try to play it, it started playing already. Mm -hmm. No, a lady called to request a song. When I tried to put the song, get the song, it started to play on the other turntable. On the other turntable. Without me putting it I on. I remember that. I you, remember, you remember that. that. I remember <laughs> so that. I was you sure. Wanted like, you were like, what's going on in the studio this morning? Yeah, I remember the that. The song yes. started playing on the other deck, mm. but I didn't put it you on. You did not put it on. God no. just put it on. Yes. So I said, my God. So after the one hour was finished, I tried to go over to the soca music. Everything song like Could foolishness. I play the best reggae. Everything song like foolishness. Mm -hmm. Don't care what song I play. Everything song like nonsense in the studio. Yes. I say, my God. So I just pull back the chair like this and I say, I say, I say, God. So what I'm gonna do? What are you gonna do? I say, what I'm gonna call the station? Mm -hmm. And I remember that day, the voice spoke in my head as loud as ever. Yes. Your life. Your salvation, yes, your sure. choice. I could yes. never, brother Edwin. I could never forget that day. It like you, you know, you heard it. You know, you didn't say it. You heard it said inside of you, yes. spirit. Mm -hmm. And I wrote it down right there. I mean, mm -hmm. something easy to remember, but yes. I still wrote it down right there mm -hmm. and there. And from that day, I said, that's it. Yes. I'm not even changing. I'm not playing not mm -hmm. one world mm -hmm. music anymore. And I started playing a few more gospel. Then the phones started ringing. Everybody say, leave it like that. Leave yes, it like that. It Everybody it. say, leave mm -hmm. it like that. Leave it mm -hmm. like that. Leave it like that. And from that day, we never turned back. Never I told my brother, back. I told brother Edwin, I said, from that day, I said, we're serving the Lord 100%. 100%. And brother Edwin said, of course, let's serve <laughs> God 100%. Yes, yes. And then a different DJs that walking mm -hmm. away from Choice Radio. Yes, yes, a lot of them, yes. Well, even one professing Christian was there for a while after mm -hmm. that. The fire hit him, he couldn't, couldn't take it anymore. Couldn't take it. Yeah, but he was <laughs> professing Christian all the time. Mm -hmm. After a while, the full fire of Jesus Christ Hold hit him. He had to walk he away. To walk yes. Away. So now what we're saying in all this, we're saying that we have come a long way with a Jesus. Long way, a long way. We have come away. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to tell people out there that Jesus Christ is it's Lord. Lord. Yes. Even if I fall, yes. even if I don't, don't continue, yes. you have an obligation yes, to continue with That's God. Right. Plus you have an obligation to me. Mm. Yes. To call me and tell me, brother, you are not going, going the, the right, right way. way. Yes. You are falling away yes. from the yes. faith. The word of God said those who, who are weak and those who are spiritual help those who are falling. Hallelujah. We have to help those. Mm -hmm. But I want to let you know, Minister Stryker, I was listening to you and I remember those days. And you know what? Um, God had a plan for you a long time. And when you went to Canada, he just started to fulfill the plan he had for you. Because he made whatever happened to you happen to you. You understand? That I can so call that, to him. So that you can shout at him because he was just waiting for you to call on him. He was waiting. So when that happened in Canada and you said, God, I will do this. That is all he wanted to hear from you. He wanted to make sure that you know who he was. And once you call unto him, all we need to do is to call. We say, if we knock, the door shall be open. 
call and he will answer us. So once you call on him, he said, now my son has called me. I'm able to work with you. Hallelujah. So when you came back here and you started to play the gospel, that was it. Your life had already changed. Even if you did not know it, your covenant with God had started. Mm -hmm. And you did not know it, but I did not know it. You did not know it, Hallelujah. but God knew it. So he knew the plans he had for you. And once you started to cry out, because most of we say, I'm not going to God. I'm not coming to God. But then something happened in our life and it bring a drastic change. But God had already had that emotion. All we needed to do was stretch forth our hands. Hallelujah. And he will answer us. That's why he say, he that calleth on the name of the Lord shall, shall be, be saved. Whosoever calleth mm -hmm. on the name of the Lord shall, shall be saved. Yes. So it's important that we all understand. And I was telling a man, mm -hmm. I met a man in St. Lucia a few nights ago. And it's amazing. When people were saying, it's a crazy how this guy didn't get so mad with you. Mm -hmm. But the Lord had me speak to him in a way mm -hmm. that brought him into it question himself that's right i didn't just go and retaliate mm -hmm. and he talk mm -hmm. about oh well who is god and no 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 you know i was just listening to him talking his stuff and saying his stuff then i said well have you ever asked god if he exists hmm. he looked at me straight i said no i mean mm -hmm. i said no you talk about a lot of stuff i have you ever asked god if he's real mm -hmm. he think i'm strange i said no have you ever asked him you don't believe in god you don't believe i, I say okay have you ever asked him Oh, he started to laugh. He started to cry. He started to laugh. He started to laugh. I said, "What? Well, have you ever asked God if he exists? I understand everything you're talking about. And what the Lord put in my spirit. Mm -hmm. Many people who no longer walk with God, they don't walk with God because of a bad experience they have yes. had with people who claim to know God. Yes. And many people who don't want to hear God have had some experience in their life, whether it's a husband, wife, mm -hmm. family member, somebody did something bad to them, or somebody who claimed to be Christian, live contrary to the will of God, yep. and caused them to be the, become depressed mm -hmm. and and fall off and lose and faith in God yeah. and fall away from God. And I was keep saying to him, whatever happened to you is mm -hmm. not God's fault. No. Nope. I said, and I keep giving the, I said, look, if you meet a woman, let's say you, you are St. Lucian mm -hmm. and you meet a woman from Dominica and she treats you bad, is all Dominican woman bad? No. Nope. I said, no. And I keep, and that was his problem. Mm -hmm. He didn't tell me, but I knew that the Lord spoke this, mm -hmm. that I would raise this question with him. That's right. Because he said he used to be an altar boy mm -hmm. and whatever. So who know what happened to him? Yes. He had had something happen to him mm -hmm. in his life that caused him to totally discredit God and yes. say there is no God. Mm -hmm. And if I there's a God, why this happened to me or why this happened, yes. whatever. And he fell from God for that. But what we need to reaffirm everybody is, even if there is counterfeit in the world, it doesn't mean every money is counterfeit. That's right. But there is counterfeit. But there is counterfeit. We have an obligation to God to mm -hmm. save ourselves. Yes. To be saved from this world. Yes. Regardless of how hurtful something is, mm -hmm. we still have a life that God has given us yes. that we need to defend it. Mm -hmm. We need to preserve it. So don't care if somebody treats you bad. This is not all about life. Not all about so that's why we are here to encourage each other yes. and strengthen each other. And mm -hmm. as you are saying before, as a woman that was living with a man and mm -hmm. felt well probably that man was paying the bills mm -hmm. that man was taking on doing whatever he's doing mm -hmm. you was going to church mm -hmm. but you were still living contrary to, to God, God until you cried out yes mm -hmm. and say God I know there is more there is more there is more to this there your word is contrary mm -hmm. to what I'm doing yes and I want to do it for you and sometimes Minister Stricker we have to let people know God people have to know that God is their source God is definitely a source and not man. And sometimes we stay in relationships and we do a lot of stuff, even in jobs, that is contrary to God's word. God is our source and the only how we can test God, can you say test him? Is to come out from among it's them. It's to come out from among yes. them. Test him at his word. He said he's our provider. You can say all you want to know, but how you know God is a provider if he has not provided for you as yet? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. How you know God is a healer? Has he healed you? So we do a lot of things and we say a lot of things that is not what we are living. But we need to know that God is our source. And when he says he is our source, he is our source. But we need to give him the chance that he can give us what he has to give us. So oh, when yeah. we stay in the relationship that is bad and we, act, we oh, oh, you know, he's paying my rent. He's paying my phone bill. He's, he's taking care of his children. But what is God saying? He's our father. He's our father. And a father always provides for his children. Amen. So we have to make sure that we know that God is our source, that we don't get into relationships and even on our jobs or wherever we are, that we don't get tied up and depend on somebody else 
and don't depend on God. But Aye. once I realized that God is my source, I was able to make that step. Mm -hmm. But I have to know that God provides for me. I have to know that God is my source. Amen. You but anyway, uh, go ahead. No, um, I was as she was talk talking about the um, the script here. Mm -hmm. Three times I get up and take the Bible. When I when, when I say it's more than three times, mm -hmm. and I I couldn't sleep in the night. We can go to bed early, but I can well, a certain time I get up, and when when, when as soon as I open the Bible, Psalm sixty one. Mm -hmm. I said, boy, the first, the first night come. Second, second night come is the same thing. The third night is the <laughs> same thing. You understand? I said, but God, for real. So why I should overwhelm myself? Mm -hmm. And you is my source. Yes. <laughs> you understand? Mm -hmm. I said, boy, God is good. He's our source. So, so you see, certain things you don't have to be, af be fear. Mm -hmm. Because God is in the midst. Yeah. And anytime God is in the midst, He He will take you through. Yes. Right. But the, the key element we were saying before, you have to let Him know yes. that you have Him as your source. Mm -hmm. yes. So that is why our encouragement on Choice Radio mm -hmm. is to let people understand. First of all, you must be proud to be a Christian. Yes. I am proud that I am willing to stand on the word of God. Yes. If God said I shouldn't do this, I letting you know that I am not doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You have to let that man or woman know, hey, guess what? If mm -hmm. you're not going to marry to me, get out. Get out. Get get out. Mm -hmm. I'm done with you. Yes. Now, only when you do that, mm -hmm. you actually telling God, God, take over. Your word is exalted mm -hmm. above that mm -hmm. situation. Mm -hmm. Your word is beyond mm -hmm. what That's anybody right. else is telling me. Mm -hmm. I am letting you be my God. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, first of all, we have to help people get that strength. Yes. That is why I am sharpened iron. I am and we are our brother's keeper. Mm -hmm. You understand me? Mm -hmm. If a man is caught in a fault, we restore him yes. according to the word of God. Mm -hmm. you, you, so we have a duty to each other. Regardless to what it feels like, we have an obligation to each other according to the word of God to let people know. Don't let nobody keep you in like like some kind of mm -hmm. like under some kind of you know spell. whatever spell. because mm -hmm. like a kind of spell because mm -hmm. oh somebody good looking or, or somebody this or somebody that or somebody brought me to America or somebody mm -hmm. promised to give me this. No, if you trying to get me to break the word of God, mm -mm, get out. Get out, get out. My mind is made up that I am going to go with Jesus. That's right. Now, only when you do that, mm -hmm. you are really able to see God yeah, at work. Right. And mm -hmm. it's important, important, I say for 2017, brethren, let that be your desire. Mm -hmm. I want my life to line up to the word of God. I might song certain kind of way. You might say, well, I'm songing rough. I'm songing this. Let me tell you something. Brethren, the word of God is all we need. The Bible said he will lead us into all truth. And the word of God is our only lamp unto our feet that we can run this race. So what I'm saying to you, once a person doesn't give you scripture to back up their position mm -hmm. or their stance, you can't stand with them. Can't stand with they them. must give you Bible scripture to yes. tell you why is it this mm -hmm. is what you should do mm -hmm. or this is what you should not do or this is what tr Christ is about or this is what the church is about and that's why we're doing this because this scripture tell you this, that mm -hmm. scripture tell you that, this scripture tell you that and Jeremiah go along with it, Ezekiel go along with it, everybody go along with it and now I'm saying it to you. Yes. And you know what God was dealing with me with? Um, well, a couple of days ago, I opened the Bible because I'm a person. I just like to open my Bible. Uh -huh. And when I opened my Bible, he was talking about the false prophets. Mm -hmm. People coming in sheep clothing. False prophets. And he said, beware of them. And this is a season, Minister Stricker, where they are out on a rampage. Mm -hmm. Because people have itchy ears. And they want to hear. They don't want to hear what does said the Lord. They want to hear what the prophets say. Yeah. They don't want to hear what God is saying. They want to hear what the prophet is saying. They want and the word. They want the word. And I'm going to tell you something about a prophet, Minister Stricker. A prophet will come into a house of God. And they will use psychology on you. They will, they will come into the house of God. And Minister Stricker is a pastor. And Brother Edwin is the assistant pastor. And we bless God for Minister Stricker, Pastor Stricker. Everybody clap their hand. We bless God for Assistant Pastor Brother Edwin. The church. Quiet. Quiet. So right away, they realize that there's a fault in the church. They're looking for a king. They're looking for a king. But guess what? They love you and they don't like 
brother Edwin. So now he's going to go prophesy. They have a favorite. They have a favorite. They have a favorite. So now he's not going to prophesy to you. But he's going to come to brother Edwin in error. And this is what he's going to say. Um, man of God, God say to hold on to his unchanging hands. God love you. God said they are more for you than is against you. Now those words are in the Bible. But how are you using it towards him? Because you come in here and you already sat him out. So that is not a word from God because God already told him that already. Because we have to understand that when a prophet comes into the house of God, he's not going to bring nothing that God did not tell you, but he will bring something that will clarify to you that it is God speaking because God speaks to each and every one of us and that he gives us a word. You understand? He gives us something that you alone would know. There is a clarity. A prophet will come and prophesy to you, but there must be a clarity in your spirit, knowing that it is only you and God that knows certain things. So we have itchy ears, and we are not really listening to the voice of God, and God wants us to listen to him. My thing for this year, 2017, is a rebirthing in God. Rebirthing in God. Rebirthing in God. Rebirthing in the things of God. Getting to know God even in a more closer relationship. Getting to understand his word and his will for my life. Rebirthing myself in the things of God. That is what I want to do for Hallelujah. 2017. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Bless God. And like I said before, <laughs> I was talking about on the plane. The Lord is showing me First Corinthians, Second Corinthians. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying those scriptures, I, we read them all the mm -hmm. time and whatever it is. But the point I'm saying to you is, if God is trying to show you, go back and read what you already read. Mm -hmm. I am not changing nothing. No, what you have said change. before is what I've already said. Mm -hmm. The same thing you're saying is the mm -hmm. same thing that's been said. Mm -hmm. What Titus said, same thing I'm saying. What that's Timothy right. said, same thing I'm saying. Right. What Paul said, the same, same thing, thing I'm saying. saying. I'm not saying nothing. What Jeremiah mm -hmm. said is the same thing I'm saying. That's right. I'm not changing nothing. The word of God is unified. It's together. Mm -hmm. It's there. Amen. So we bless God for every listener out there today. Amen. We thank God. And my sister, I thank God for your life from where you've Amen. been and mm -hmm. where you now in the word of God. Amen. And I want to encourage you. That is all about Jesus. Yes. It's all about the word of God. It, yes. it doesn't make no difference how you look to man, mm -hmm. how man validates you. That's it has right. nothing to do with that. Nothing. Like I said, God keep reminding me and showing me. A matter of fact, like I said, what God did for me with this trip over the mm -hmm. over the summer, you know, we went to Grenada, we mm -hmm. went to, to St. Lucia, right? What God has shown me, there are people that are out there who totally understand him. Totally yes. know him, one hundred percent. They know him like they know him like they know him, mm -hmm. and there are things that I am standing on that I know is fundamental song doctrine mm -hmm. that they themselves are standing on. Yeah, and they meet me and they we never talked before. Mm -hmm. They don't but know they me, know. and what they're saying is what I'm saying exclusively, right, same, same way, same way, same way, same way, just the same way I'm saying it, the same way they're saying it, the same error they see with the church, mm -hmm. the same error, error they see, and yes. the same way, and they're telling me just like this, and I'm saying, look at God. Mm -hmm. A pastor came. We, we went to a wedding. The pastor came. He didn't hear me talk nothing about no God. Mm -hmm. Just talking, just talking mm -hmm. general. He came and he said, he said, you know, I, I don't even understand. How he, he said, you know, the church is mad with me and they're upset with me that I want to go out. I don't want to stay in the four walls. I want the church to go out. But the church is upset with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so imagine a pastor telling you that he want to go out. Mm -hmm. And the church is telling him to stay in. Or the church is kind of against. He want to go out. He already bought speakers and microphone to go out. And the church do not want to go out. They kind of think it's a waste of time to go out. And I'm saying, look at this. Look at this. And I'm here to just say, look, brother. This is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Go ye into all the world and make, make disciples of all men. That's this is right. fundamental mm -hmm. doctrine of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Go and make disciples. I don't tell you to stay in the four walls. I tell you to go out and meet them. They're out there. That's go right. fish for them. That's They're right. out That's there. Go out and there. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm saying to say this what? It's something I'm always saying on Choice Radio. Mm -hmm. God never called people to just stay in four walls. Nope. No, you can fellowship with people nope. in four walls, mm -hmm. but the doctrine of Christ is to get people saved. That's get right. people to know about Jesus. If you're on a right. job, let them know you're a Christian. Mm -hmm. If you go somewhere, let people know you're you a child of God. Let mm -hmm. them know who you are. Mm -hmm. That is the call of God. So now, what I'm saying is that 
God affirmed to me mm -hmm. of what I'm saying and God affirmed to him. That's right. And then God showed me mm -hmm. I have a few people yes. that have not soiled the garment. That's right. They are still on purpose. Mm -hmm. They still understand the call of the mm -hmm. gospel mm -hmm. and they are all there. They might not be the minority, the majority, no, no. but they are there. Yes. So what mm -hmm. I'm saying to you, God have shown me this. Yes. Now, I met another lady in Grenada mm -hmm. and, and, and I said to you, she said, I was giving her some tracks waiting for my wife and I was giving her, just giving some tracks people and so she came along and I was giving her a track and she started talking and she started smiling so she, she really just started we just started talking about the word of God and you know da 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 and then she said when we spoke about certain things she said you know what you know the Lord told me in three days I'm going to meet somebody or not meet somebody but mm -hmm. she's going to have an encounter mm -hmm. in three days and she's going to get some confirmation mm -hmm. in terms of what she thinking or what she projecting that this is it does say the Lord don't mm -hmm. think about nothing else but just what you already know this is it this is it mm -hmm. and when she met me she said she knew that's it she mm -hmm. said I know she said thank you Lord she said go on go on yes. go on thank yes. you Jesus whatever because she found comfort with yes. one person and yes. another person confirming mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. way she feels about different things mm -hmm. the way she sees certain things and she's gone from and then she was saying well the whole church is into all this Christmas thing and she said the Lord have already shown me this over and over that this have nothing to do with yeah. Jesus period mm -hmm. and she said she, she resent what they're yeah. doing and everybody every year they get more intensified they're getting deeper away from the will of God and just saying well oh well it's about Jesus no it's not about Jesus mm -hmm. Jesus is about the word of God yes and if you cannot bring me scripture and a matter of fact the word of God say in the last days knowledge shall be increased Increase. well yeah. why, why you don't want no knowledge because they want to remain the same. This is what I'm trying to show you. So mm -hmm. they want what they want. Mm -hmm. They agree we used to travel on boat, but yes. now we're using plane. plane. Mm -hmm. But, but they still want the same boat. They, they <laughs> still want to stay in the old doctrine yes. that they were taught by their forefathers. Yes. That's what they told us. Mm -hmm. But now the truth is available. You yes. know who started Christmas. You know mm -hmm. who started that. Mm -hmm. You know who do this. You know, you know the truth. That's right. Why are you trying to stay in the in, in, in the old? In bondage. And the word of God saying you shall know the truth and the truth shall make, make you, you free. free. Glory to God. So they don't so they don't want so they don't have the truth. So the truth is not making them free because they have their own belief contrary to the word of God. Exactly. Glory and that's a sad place to be. Amen. And my sister, like I was saying before, the Lord has been showing me this. I said, you are a chosen generation. Mm -hmm. You're a royal priesthood, mm -hmm. a holy nation. A holy nation. If the holy nation is joining with the world Come on. to do something, whatever they want to feel free of it, Shouldn't you question it? Of course you have to question that it. Then on the same day, everybody doing something, you're joining with them. Shouldn't you, have you question, to question it? Because you said be separated. So I, why we are not separated? I keep trying to tell you, there are some fundamental doctrine mm -hmm. that you cannot override it. Mm -hmm. If you understand what I'm saying. If the whole world is doing something and the whole world is not following Jesus, shouldn't you question of what you Of course I'm going to question what I'm doing. But this is what God is telling, saying mm -hmm. in the word of God. Yes. If the wall is doing something, the devil have deceived the whole wall, right. the Bible said in, in the book of Revelation. I mean, Sir Shreka, you always say this, you know, you always say, in the last days, men are going to have itchy ears. You always quote that. But the word of God said And it. the word of God said it. Mm -hmm. Denying the power therein and going beyond. I'm just paraphrasing it. Yeah, going uh -huh. beyond what they know so they're not looking towards the word of God they just want to do what they want to do and think it is the right thing to do guess what again like I said 2 Corinthians 5 17 say mm -hmm. any man in Christ is, is a, a new, new creature. creature now Christ is always showing me mm -hmm. I keep telling you in Christ mm -hmm. not in church in not Christ. in religion any man that is in Christ mm -hmm. is a new creature his thinking is different yes. now a person might feel well oh well I've been in church for a while who are you mm -hmm. to tell me this you just saying what you say yes. you're not speaking thus said the Lord that's right because if you're speaking thus said the Lord your information will mm -hmm. always be backed up by scripture that's right you don't just tell me stuff off your head mm -hmm. so we have people sometimes tell you say well oh God said you know and the word of God mm -hmm. you know one man esteem a day mm -hmm. over the next mm -hmm. and next yeah, that's true. That's in, true. Its, in its own context. Where it belongs. In that's its right. own context. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about a custom, mm -hmm. a custom is not the same as a man estima day. It's not the same. Amen. Mm -hmm. A custom is something that people do, do all, all the time. time. Yes. They have the day set for it. Yep. They have the time set mm -hmm. for it. And they're doing what they're doing. That's and right. God is saying that we should not walk like that. We should not. Because God's spirit it lies in it's, us. There's liberty in the spirit yes, of God. And we are the spirit in, is not restricted to any right. day or time or nothing that's like that. That's right. Amen. That's right. So God changes things to mm -hmm. suit the time that we live, we live in, in. That's to right. suit what it is. Because here, what I'm saying mm -hmm. again, 
God is saying now in the book of Revelation, we mm -hmm. hear about the seven churches. Mm -hmm. The church must read up to Revelation and get right to be the right church of God That's that they right. can be purified to go into the book of Revelation. <laughs> so if we have read everything before, when we get to this letters to the seven church of Asia Minor, you have to find out is your church unspotted? What church do you do you which church do you belong to? <laughs> this is what it is, my sister. <laughs> which church do you belong to? Where do you find yourself in one of those churches? Exactly. So then you have to make sure that wherever you find yourself, if you're not in the right church, then you got to make sure that you do what is right unto God to find yourself in mm -hmm. that church. Because the word of God says he's coming back for a church without so wrinkle spot, a and wrinkle. spot. Yes. And what is spot or wrinkle? Our Doctrines. Sins sins mm -hmm. through mm -hmm. different things that we yes. do that we do in contrary to contrary the, word of, to the word of God yes yes amen so when so so like I said before we tell people all the time do not ever get tired of hearing mm -hmm. the word of God that's right do not get tired keep once we are quoting scripture say mm -hmm. God I want to know this yes. I want to hear this mm -hmm. you see that's why this forum we open the phone line for mm -hmm. any pastor any bishop you mm -hmm. call and give me scripture that's I pray right. that God give me the discernment or give me the, the, yes. the, the patience give mm -hmm. me the will the that and I and, 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 and not even that but give me the, 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 the strength that yes. even if you correct me mm -hmm. I would not feel well you you, you call me you an embarrassment embarrass no me. I will feel that thank you Jesus mm -hmm. that I've seen something somewhere yes. but somebody have called me and mm -hmm. correct me in the word of God that we can go forward. And that's why we say iron sharp iron. This is what God is saying. Mm -hmm. So this forum here we always open the phone line and we open mm -hmm. the phone line with a clear spirit and mm -hmm. we say God well hey the word of God is here we open the phone line yes. when somebody call I'm going to find some scripture mm -hmm. to see if we can relate to what you're saying mm -hmm. or we can identify what you're saying yes. that there can be unity in the word of God. Unity. There can be unity. And I always tell the, tell the listeners, you get your bishop. You get your, don't mm -hmm. get mad with me. Mm -hmm. You get them to call and test me or call That's me right. and confirm That's what right. they have made you believe That's about right. the word of God. You That's tell right. them because no problem. God will stand. This is all we're saying. All we have to stand mm -hmm. on is the word of God. Yes. All we have to stand as Christian God. is the word of God. Mm -hmm. If you call me and you show me your scriptures, I understand. I, like I said, um, over the Christmas, I, saw, I went to two churches. Mm -hmm. And one pastor say, oh, man, you're making a big deal of nothing, man. This is about Jesus. I say, no, pastor. I say, pastor, you have, you're wrong. I say, pastor, you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Even just your demeanor coming to me when I ask you, why do you have the tree? No, you say this is the day that you wonder that. Okay, okay. What is the purpose of the tree? Mm -hmm. Explain the tree to me. He don't know the history. No, no, no. He's telling me, mm -hmm. oh, you're making a big... I say, no, 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 no. I say, mm -hmm. I say Pastor, you're wrong. I say, <laughs> Pastor, you're wrong. I say, Pastor, you're totally wrong. God is not a blind God. No, he's not. No. God is not a blind God. Mm -hmm. Plus, what we have now is an obligation to the young people. Yes. To tell them, thus said, said the Lord. Lord. Tell them the truth. Mm -hmm. Because they could go online and tell them, how come mommy you tell me nothing wrong about that's that right. and, and this what I see about this thing came yes. from there and this came from there Everything and this came from up. there mm -hmm. how come you tell me this mm -hmm. I have a problem with that yes. gonna, then what you have to do you're going to try to fight them to make them believe what 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 you telling them when they look at it and say and no it right. my mm -hmm. spirit told me different from what mm -hmm. you telling me mm -hmm. what you telling me is contrary to what is here yeah. this is showing me this 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 but you trying to make me believe that 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 that, that. that's right and what, the you thing, see and the thing about it is that sometimes they just take what they pass to say now, I, as a believer, what I do, if you bring a scripture, right, or even before I bring anything to the body of Christ, I will basically research it for myself. There's words in the Bible that we don't know the meaning of. And these youths will go and find out the meaning of that word. You don't know the meaning, but they know it. So they will know that you're not, contrary, you're not doing nothing contrary to the word of God because they already know the meaning of the word. Mm -hmm. So... You, okay, I am so holy. But yet still, when they go and they look up the word holy and they see what holy means, they know you're not holy. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so there is contrary. So we need to walk circumspect before God. We need to know the word of God. We need to live the word of God. We need to even eat morning, noon, and night the word of God. Everything strive, in us. Yes, strive, strive because the youths yes, are mm. coming up and we want them to be walking you know, no, we have God. an obligation to God. To God train to a train child in the way he should go, that yes. when he's old, he shall, he shall not, not depart. depart from so, it. what we say, you cannot just tell the children, oh, well, this is about Jesus. No, no. Mm -hmm. you have to find the information and tell them why mm -hmm. we're doing this and prove it to them in the scriptures mm -hmm. why they're doing it. Mm -hmm. or, and what other information is available about this? You have to tell them what other information That's is available. Right. Well, people could say this, people say that, but we're going to show you why in the scripture. Da, 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 da. That's right. You have an obligation to the young people That's to tell right. them and not just bring them into 
into something because we have more information now That's to right. whom much is given much, is much more is required yes. so when we were growing up there are certain things we didn't we have didn't like mm -hmm. even when we were younger your parents probably didn't even have a Bible back no. in the days. Only mm -hmm. the priests have a Bible. Mm -hmm. But now we have a Bible. We can yes. see more things and learn more things and have more things. You know what I mean? Yeah. So we just bless God we for this God. day, my sister. And I yes. thank God for you. And if anything you want to share with the people out there this morning as you coming into Christ and knowing mm -hmm. your development and the way you're walking with the Lord Jesus. And like I said, every day is a learning with God. Mm -hmm. Every day is a progression. Every day we could fall. We could this. But the point is our mind is made up. Yes. that we are on purpose to serve God according to the word of God Amen. and that we want to inject into the people okay. let us continue to follow God according to the word of God yes. go ahead but Mr. Stricker, my walk with God is an awesome walk with God it has not always been easy I will not tell nobody walking with God has been easy for me but I love the Lord and one of the reasons I love God is because I trust him at his word I believe him at his word as a young believer, I had to, to know God's word because I had so many obstacles as a young believer in my life that I could not do nothing. There were times when I had to call your wife to help me understand what it is that God was telling me or even showing me as a young believer. There has been a lot of trials in my life as a believer and even still now today as a believer. But one thing I know is to stand on God's word. I learned to stand on God's word no matter what. I learned to take him at his word. And yes, the time I wanted to come true, it may not come true that time. But I learned to stand on God's word. Because again, his word is his will and his will is his word. And you know that the word of God, it will never return void unto him. It shall go forth and accomplish everything he said about my life. Everything he have for me is going to come forth. So once I believe that, it didn't matter Oh my God, I have gone through so many as a believer. I have been beaten down. As most Christians would say, they have been beaten down. Mm -hmm. I have been, I had tests upon tests in my life. One of my tests is um, my housing situation. And you know, we can do a lot of things. One thing God has allowed me to do is trust his will. But the only hope I could have trust God is when I be truthful to myself. And when I had my housing situation, I could have blamed the devil. I could have blamed everybody else. And one day I was walking Mr. Stricker and God said, look at your life and tell me where you have gone wrong. And once I realized where I have gone wrong in my life, I was able to, to blame me, not God, because we would like to blame God. We would like to blame the devil. And once I began to blame me and say that, okay, God, I have done wrong in my life and now I give myself to you wholly so that you can take full, complete control of my life and help me help me because there were times when I mean me and my children was almost put out on the street but I stand on God's word I remember when the marshal was going to come at my house Mr. Streeter, and I go back to God and I say God you promised never to make me shame I said so God you got to do something for me and I remember the landlord saying um, Mr. Hans Claus well, you must be really praying because every time the marshal is supposed to come He's not coming, but I had faith in God and I trust God at his word. So if I want to leave anything with anybody today on Choice Gospel that is listening, I would tell them to trust God at his word. It doesn't Amen. matter how the situation look. Because there is always something that you're going to learn in the situation that you are in. Trust God at his word and watch him come true for you. He may not come true when you want him because God is not a God of time. We like to put God in time. He's not a God of time. But when we need him, he is there. I like to call him the God at the 11th hour. Hallelujah. So my walk, my, my, my walk with God is awesome. I had trials. I have tribulations. I have everything that a person that is serving God with all their heart and with all their soul would have with God. Because the enemy is going to come and test you. And sometimes mm -hmm. God is going to test you himself to see where you stand with him mm -hmm. if you believe him. Mm -hmm. So I just want to let them know, trust God at his word. Believe God at his word and watch him do wonders in your life. It may not be everything you want, but know that God has a plan for your life. And every day is a closer walk with God. Every day you could go stronger in God. And only how you can do that is by reading his word. Yes. Reading his word. And if you don't understand it, go back. Go back. Because... And Brother Edwin said that the Bible, he opened the Bible and it came unto him two and three times. But there was something that God wanted him to see there. 
to learn right in that passage. Go back. You may not understand it today, but it's going to come true. So I love God. I bless God for you guys today. Mm -hmm. I bless you because you are wonderful men of valor in God. Mm -hmm. You all have believed and <laughs> trust God with all your heart. You know, and God has, I have seen choice where you go from strength to strength. Even Minister, um, Brother Edwin, I enjoy you. No, I enjoy the Sunday. I just enjoy us because we have come so far in the body of Christ. We used to party together. God, no. We used to do what we do. And then we came together and knowing God and fellowship in God. And today, here we are, ministers of the gospel. What could be sweeter than that? What could be sweeter than serving God? Hold on to God, my people. Hold on to God. It is not easy, but if you trust him at his world, he will come true for you. God is a Hallelujah. loving God. He's a great God. He's a mighty God. But you must know that for yourself. I know that because he has brought me from where I am to who I am today. And I am still growing in the things of God. Hallelujah. I have not reached no way. Mm -hmm. But God is awesome in my life. Hallelujah. And I can tell you, you know, Minister Strzok, I remember my daughter going to college, right? And she called me and she said, Mommy, I need certain amount of money. And she's in Buffalo. And I said, I don't have the money now. But I said, but God, you promise to never leave me, neither forsake me. You promise to take care of me and mine. I said, God, I'm going to trust you that you're going to bring a miracle. I said, make me a miracle today. And about oh, yeah. 10 minutes later, I tell you no lie, but 10 minutes later, my daughter come back. I got two testimonies. The other one will blow your mind. <laughs> and when she she said mommy guess what so and so called me and tell me they put 200 dollars in my account and it was exactly what she needed to do what she needed to do in buffalo god come true then she called me about three weeks ago right before she came down in this summer and she said mommy i'm gonna do my exam my anatom exam it's the first time she's doing exam mm -hmm. for college i said she said pray for um she used wish me luck i said honey you don't have luck you have favor with god Mm -hmm. favor with God I say I pray favor God upon you I say that I pray the favor of God will surround you right now go before you I say God send your angels before to prepare her that she will get favor with you five minutes later Minister Strick and she called back and she said mommy guess what I said what she said mommy I did my homework last night when everybody was going out I did my homework and you know now mommy I don't have to do the exam they give me they give me what it called, I would say favor, but she did not have to do the, the exam because she did her homework and she did her homework and she did it right. So she got marks for it and she was unable. She, she got marks for it, but she did not have to sit the exam no more. So I call that favor and believing and trusting God at his word. So as I say, believers, trust him. Do not listen to what mm -hmm. your pastor say, but know God for yourself. <laughs> it is important that we know God for ourselves so that when people come to us, we will be able to tell him, I know God for myself. You can't fool me with whatever you're telling me. I know who he is. He's the head of my life. Hallelujah. He's the Alpha and he's the Omega. He's the I am that I am. Oh, he's the Almighty God. God. He's Jehovah. Hallelujah. He's Teskudu. He's Adonai. Glory. He's Jesus Hallelujah. in my life. He Glory is the banner over me. He's my healer. He's my Hallelujah. redeemer. He's a good shepherd. Know God for yourself. So that nobody cannot fool you. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God is awesome. And I can feel the Holy Ghost up in this place, Hallelujah. Minister Straker. God, God is definitely be in, in the midst of us today. It is such an awesome name. feeling. Bless his name. Awesome. Awesome. Hallelujah. Awesome. We bless him. We bless him. So we thank awesome. you. Amen. And we wish you all the best in Amen. all your endeavors as you Amen. go forth. And um, yes. you're going to North Carolina. Riley, with, um, North Carolina. Riley, North Carolina. Um, on Give Thursday. us a little information. I'm on going to um, Riley, North Carolina on Thursday. Um, there's an apostle that I had linked up with on Facebook, and we came. We became very good friends, and she's celebrating her birthday. And she asked me if I would like to come and bring a word to the people in Riley. And I said to her, I said, me? Why me? She said, yes, you. And Minister Straker, when she told me this, believe it or not, I remember you. It was one Sunday. We were going to church, and she said, you said to me, let no man despise your youth. Bless God. I remember when she Hallelujah. said that cuz mm -hmm. I know she could have she could have asked anybody else and she asked me and I said yes I will go 
in the power of the Lord in the power of God Hallelujah. and in the might and Hallelujah. God is going to get the glory out of my yes. life because that's what I'm here for for him to get the glory and to lift up his holy name bless him amen so, so I'm going blessed. to Riley on Thursday and I'm coming back on Thursday and I will just get, let God get the glory Hallelujah. and let him do what he in has in Jesus to do. name amen. amen you're welcome amen. bless God all right, so our um, sister um, Stanis Claus, we bless God. So we're just spending the time with you here on Choice Radio. Um, and we thank you so much, everybody listening. If you have a comment, something to share in the meantime, we are here. But what we really want you to affirm to in 2017 is the Word of God. That that Word of God will be a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. It has nothing to do with man. It's about God. And like I said before, the Word of God tells us, if a man is overtaken in a fault, yes. ye who are spiritual, restore such a one in a spirit of meekness, considering that you could also happen to you. What we saying? If any man go away from the word of God, you and I have an obligation to God to restore them to back to the word of God. Come back to Jesus. That's the call of the church of Christ to become soldiers of the cross, soldiers of Jesus, letting them know somebody died for you, that you and I can have hope in the resurrection of the dead. Brethren, the resurrection of the dead. This is our hope as a Christian. He will raise us from the dead. So imagine you have done all for Christ. Raise me up. Raise me up. <laughs> Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you have done all for God, then you have courage. You have confidence. I have done all for Jesus. He is going to raise me up on that day. And that is, brethren, that's our calling. That's our calling. We, we cannot have faith in nothing else. But if we do the will of God, we have faith that Jesus Christ will raise us from the dead. Because remember the scripture said, when Christ come, he will separate goats from sheep. I was saying to a man yesterday, sheep are those who follow the shepherd. Jesus is the only shepherd. That's very important. You see, men are called shepherd in the criteria, in the context of church and religion and whatever. Hey! But Jesus is the master shepherd. So amen. So if we follow him, we follow in the shepherd. Once we follow in the shepherd, now we are able. He said, Amen. You have done what I ask you. Amen. You feed the poor. You clothe the naked. Now come enter into my into my rest. Enter into the joy of the Lord. So it's very important, brethren, as the year begins, let us ask God to be purposefully living for God. Let us ask him that. You don't need nothing else. Everything else shall be added on to you as it relates to holiness and righteousness in the fear of God. So as the year starts, yes, we have things that we need. We have financial needs. We have housing needs. We have whatever. Yes, that's true. But God said, seek he first the kingdom. So if we're going to seek the kingdom, we want to make sure we can bring souls into the kingdom. We can encourage people to come to the kingdom because that is the will of the Father which is in heaven. So be encouraged, everybody. And I tell people all the time, if you are not happy to be a Christian, if you are not happy to know that you can no longer live as the world, something is wrong with your Christian walk. Very important. If you can do like the world, something is still wrong with your transition. Amen? So it's nothing to be ashamed about. But you thank God that you have the life. You have the, the time to change what is wrong and make it right. There is no need to be ashamed. There is no need to be ashamed. We all are a work in progress. Amen? We all are a work in progress. Like, a, like I was telling somebody, I was telling a man on the plane, I said, look, even if I come on the radio and I talk all this stuff, I could go home and my wife will give me one strong correction. And I have to take it. Because that is the way God has designed the system. I am sharpened. I am. We are brother's keeper. You see? So I could come on the radio and talk a lot of stuff. And I go home and my wife give me one correction. I have to take it. That's how God designed the system. So we all could correct each other. And strengthen each other in the truth of God as we continue to run this race. So what? As the year coming, let us be in a mindset that God can correct us through ministers, through people, 
but it has to be the word of God. Hallelujah, the word of God. So let's go back to this song here. So the phone is open. If you're out there and you're enjoying the program, you're there and you're listening, we just bless God today and we thank God. Thank God for your life. 21 minutes after two, brother Edwin is still with us. A man blessed to play music. Yeah, what a mighty God. The phone is still open, 347-6638638. We want to cultivate your heart for 2017, that you go out and pop us for Jesus. You are great. Miss Morrison, good evening to you. You are stronger than the strongest. Miss S, good afternoon to you and all those who have spoken our life. Because remember, a lot of people have been speaking for us, you know, Brother Edwin. A lot of people have been wishing for us to come in, you know. Yes. All Miss S and these people, they come on the radio. They're always praying that we're going to serve the Lord. We will live for Christ. Yes. <laughs> yes, know? Miss S used to always talk, of, talk things. But you, you know, when an elderly person speaks things over you, it must be... He does come to pass. Mm-hmm. He does come to pass. Yeah, the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous, righteous man, man availed much. much yeah. Righteousness in the context that they mean well. Yes, they mean yes. righteousness towards you. So once the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man go before God, God is able to perform it because the intention of that person is to bring forth righteousness. It's not to wish you about the money. They wish you're going to get saved. Yes. They wish you're going to know Jesus. Amen. They wish you're going to be enlightened with the enlightenment of the word of God. So once that go forth, God is willing to perform that all the time. So I thank God for all the people been speaking to us. They've been coming on Joyce Radio even when we're not saved and they come and do the little gospel yes, on yes, Sunday. Yes. They come and do the little thing and they're praying for us and stuff like that. And, and we thank God for them. And now I'm asking them, the mm. elders, yes. Now, listen to this. Mm. The elders have an obligation to listen to the younger ones because God has designed the system like that. Yes, there was a time in life when the elders could have told you everything you need to know about life. Mm. But now you can take a cell phone yeah. and tell them, no, don't press that one. No, press that one over here. Uh-uh, not that one, this one. You see, God has designed it now that the young people can also give you a word to bring you even into the truth of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's so we all have an obligation to each other. Amen. All are young. God is bringing yeah. everything in the middle now to the center. He said the heart of the young to the old, the old to the young. So there was a time when old people could have tell you almost everything you needed to know. But now in the technological age now, the young people have a mind and a heart that is different from our heart that can really receive those things from technology and they could teach you something that will save your life. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Amen. So now it's important for the older ones to understand God is still in the working because remember, we need all truths to go to God. Mm -hmm. You might have some truth back in the days. True, yes. Nothing wrong with that. He was a saved man for real for a lot of years. True. Mm -hmm. But you are still alive when technology is coming in and you are still alive when revelation is being revealed to the young generation Amen. now you have to still you have an open mind you cannot be too exalted so there are many pastors who are not going to make it because why they have become so confident in themselves as if God is only speaking to them alone and have spoken to them alone and they still have the preeminence not true not true you have run your course yes mm-hmm. You're still running, yes. But you still need some new information that will allow you to endure to the end. Amen. Hallelujah. So that's something the Lord has been putting in my spirit. A lot of people will not make it from that only foundation. They feel that they are in God alone and nobody could correct them. Nobody could tell them now, I've been doing this thing for 20 years and God been blessing me. Oh, yes, yeah, true. When the light comes, your obligation is to walk in the light. Hallelujah. To whom much is given, much much more is required. Because why? There are people who had a certain amount of information. God will judge them according to the information that was given to them. That's what they had. But you cannot come with the same criteria and say, well, oh, well, I know it, but I didn't. No, 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 no. If you get the light, you have an obligation to God to walk in the newness of the word as it comes forth. So we all have an obligation to God as things continue to improve and change and evolve. 
God is giving us the information because the word of God said, he said, Daniel, seal the book until the time of the end. Knowledge shall increase. Men shall run to and fro. So what's happening now? Mankind is going back to even back in the days to their forefathers used to worship this and their forefathers was this and oh yeah, that's true. That's from back in the days. But after Jesus' death, burial and resurrection, every man is called to repent yeah. to Jesus. Amen. Amen. So we cannot go back and say, well, before we came from... No, no, no. That passed already. Before, that was what was required. That's right. Amen. So God say, look at man's ignorance and call all men to repent. Amen. In the book of Acts. So that's very important. Now we see all kind of things raising up and people talking about, oh, Imhotep and people talking about this and people talking about ancient Egyptian mm -hmm. scroll. And, oh, yes. That was there all along. That's when Paul walked through. Paul said, look at all this statue. Oh, the unknown God. All this, all this. That's been there all along. But he said, now, God look at all of your ignorance and call every man to repent. Amen. So you have people now talking about black this and black that and oh this and this and we the Hebrews guess what we were the Hebrews who were called wow. by now remember when they cried out in Egypt they cried to the God of Abraham mm -hmm. well there were people crying to many gods when they cried to the God of Abraham he said Moses they are calling to me Yes. I promised Abraham to save them. Well, mm -hmm. it didn't mean that there wasn't white people or there wasn't red people or the yellow people living in different places. No. But that people called to the God. Mm -hmm. So he sent Moses to free them. Yes. Yes. After he performed his miracles before them, he declared them to go out to the world yeah. mm -hmm. and get them to know he is the true God. Amen. Instead, they went out and defiled themselves. They went to all the, they do all kind of stuff until they fell away. But it doesn't mean that they were the only people that God considered as his creation. That's right. You understand? The point is they created by God. When they call out to God, God answered them yeah. because they're asking for the God of creation. Mm -hmm. But all along, people always believe in the sun. People believe in the moon. People believe in all kind of things. People doing what they're doing. God, yes. not, God make them. He just give them the world, live and do what you want. But after we had that that's that, that 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 sin sacrifice after we had jesus dying for humanity all men are called to repent unto jesus and be saved for the remission of sins mm -hmm. so don't care you're white you're black you're whatever is the same criteria yes. for all men yes. you understand so you're not special because you're black and you're mm -hmm. this and that no you're black you're black if you're black and you're a sinner you're still going to hell same way oh, yeah. you understand you have no <laughs> obligation god has no obligation to you because you're black well we are the chosen people no you're chosen because you're not chosen because of your color Man is man, That's all right. man, all men have sinned and come shut of the glory of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we, what we're saying about all this, we're saying as we look at the world and what is transpiring now with the different religion that is rising up and the different groups and the different things and people saying this and saying that and saying that. Anything you say that does not come down to one who died for you, you're not saying nothing. Mm -hmm. don't care what you talk about if it does not equal how do I me how do I answer to eternity when I die what happened to me mm -hmm. if you don't have an answer for me you're not saying nothing mm -hmm. so if you talk about your forefather you talk about anybody how will they save you can't save you. they can't save you glory to God amen but you, but you see we, we all are to fear God and a lot of people don't fear God. You understand? <laughs> you no, I, they don't. They don't fear God. You say if I understand, I totally understand, my brother. My brother, what I when I give the testimony in the church Christmas day about the the guy that died, that dead, the three days. Yes, that yes, one, yes. Uh huh. Boy, if you see the reaction on the people face, you understand because hell is real. Very real. <laughs> And, and you see because God see I was going down the road the wrong way so he come in the sleep and, and show me that that my, my good friend three of us I tell you used to rule and as I tell you I bring back the guy to to, to, to Christ and he accept Christ I wasn't in church all years, all years um, morning because I overslept because I went to, to Pastor um, Stanford and we had a nice time down there. And you know, the morning I get up, I get up late, I get up nine o'clock. And the service was seven o'clock. And I was mad with myself because I couldn't get to go to church. 
<laughs> you know. And I tell you, when I give the testimony, tears come out in a lot of people's eyes because, you know, as as the pastor was telling them, three of us used to roll real tight in 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 the in the Lord, and he just fall fall, fall apart. You know. And the dream, I tell you, this guy, and I tell you, I seen it again. I was home, same place home, and the same with three of us. This guy that I come up to me and tell me you want a glass of water, and when I give him the glass of water, because he was looking so rugged, so I ask him well, what's wrong with him. He said, "Where I am, don't come." So I say, "Where you at?" He said, "You didn't hell." I say, "How you mean you didn't hell?" He said, yes, I didn't help. So the morning, I, will, I just get up and I call my sister and I say, look at what Reds tell me. She said, the man dead three days ago. I said, Jesus. You know, so that's a confirmation that God was warning me, do not go down that road because hell is, hell, hell is real. And a lot of people mo- might be think I'm joking, but that, that was live, live, live. Yeah, well, again, like I said, this is what, again, you see happening now. There is f- less talk about hell, less talk about repentance, and more talk about prosperity. Oh, mm-hmm. God want to bless you. Oh, God love you. God want to bless you. The doctrine of Jesus Christ have always been that hell is real. Mm-hmm. So it always been that hell is real, that men should avoid hell at all costs, because I have died for you mm-hmm. to save you from going to that place that was not in the first place designed for you anyway. You understand? So now, as the Bible tells in the last days, men will work school and men will, will, will heap teachers unto themselves and they will even deny the Lord that bought them. Mm-hmm. You see? Yeah. They deny the Lord that bought them. So God bought us with a price. Yes. The Bible said they will even deny him. They don't even mention about him anymore. They will use his name. But they not tell you that he died for you and how important he is. Now, it's hard for people to say, well, that's a reality. But it's a re- not because you're going to church. If this cause that Jesus has died for us is not the main thing in your mind, mm-hmm. to understand that somebody died for you and he wants you to live right because hell is real yes. and go out and tell more people you are not in the will of God. Even mm-hmm. if it's sung like the will of God, it's still not the will of God because that is the foundation of the gospel. There is nothing else. Hell is real. Heaven is real. So this is the foundation of the doctrine of Jesus Christ. So the Bible says in the last days, men would not talk about that anymore. Men will feel, ah, oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's too much to talk about, yeah. man. Mm-hmm. You know, that's boring. You know, if you talk about that, people are gonna, not going to come back to church. Speak something more encouraging. Yeah. You'll, yeah. get, you'll, you'll get a bag of money down the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you'll come. No, but it's not, that, it, it, it's not like that, you know, because we, we have to seek our salvation. And, 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 when, and when we leave this earth, we want to know we could come again and live. Yes, we, yes. Want, we want to transition. Yes. We want to transition to the spirit life and live forever mm-hmm. in Christ. And like yeah. I said, the Christian is the only one who have hope in the resurrection. Yeah. You see, no other belief in the world have that. They have somebody else they worship in, mm-hmm. but they don't have no hope of coming back. You know what I mean? Coming back in yes, the spirit, yeah, in, in the, the spirit, way yeah. that Jesus have told us mm-hmm. that we're gonna, re- you know, receive the gift of the Father. So we have a beautiful thing as followers of Jesus Christ. And like I said, uh, you know, as we climb to the top of the hour, I mean, uh, we bless God for each and every listener. And you know, we understand that the doctrine of Jesus Christ will always bring us quiet. Why? The world is offering so much on the other side that is contrary to walking in holiness that is harder for a man to choose between Jesus and the world because the world has so much to offer. That's why the Bible said the coming of the Son of Man will be just like in the days of Noah. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened in the days of Noah? And the Lord have put that in my spirit. In the days of Noah, the reason why the ark was so big the people in the neighborhood help him get the wood. <laughs> they help him cut it down because he was a believable person. So you see, anywhere you live, like right now, you are a great DJ on Choice Radio. When you come to play music, people have to turn the radio on because you are anointed to play music. Now, if you tell some people as a music man who play that they love, you tell them something concerning music or song or whatever, they will believe it. Because you are credible as a good music DJ. So if you tell a person, I'm making a CD for you, and I guarantee you, when you play that CD in any wedding, any place you play it, people are going to dance, and they're going to say you are great. Mm -hmm. 
people going to believe you because you have a credibility over a period of time people listen to for 10 years they say oh come on if he give you a CD just close your eyes and play it just close your eyes if he give you brother Edwin give you a CD you, you could con- you could you could put your money on that right so Noah wherever Noah lived he was credible as being a holy man of God so people probably dealt with Noah over many years towards many things of the heart or God or whatever so they believe him so when he told them the flood is going to come everybody say what <laughs> man of God said a flood going to come we never see rain yet but let's get ourselves working so they helped them build the ark all the big wood go for wood and whatever they helped them go and cut down all the trees so he and his sons and them they alone couldn't do that like that no. but the point is <laughs> the people help him but here what happened after one uh, one month pass no rain one year pass no rain Two years, no rain. Ten years, no rain. Twenty years, no rain. Fifty years, no rain. I mean, people say, after a while, man say, oh, come on. I mean, no, I mean, we respect you, you know, man yeah. of God, I mean, but come on. Exactly. Since I was a child, you're talking yeah. about it, this way, you're going to fall. No, I mean, come on. I mean, I believe you, but no, I mean, come on. You're getting crazy now. Let's go back to the phone call. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mr. Straker and my dear brother in the studio. It's nice to hear you guys. Uh-huh. Praise the Lord. Lord. Praise Praise the Lord. Lord. <laughs> members back to me also, okay? Bless God. Yeah. Yeah, I um, uh, want to share um, a little bit here from, not too much, from Psalms. Um, maybe we're going to bless someone today. From Psalms, the first Psalm, mm-hmm. first verse. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the law of the <laughs> Lord, and in his law does he meditate day yeah. and night. The blessing here are that word blessing here are a result a result of right conduct. And if you go to Proverbs chapter four, verse fourteen, it says in Proverbs 4.14 enter not into the path of the wicked this is a warning to us and go not in the way of evil verse 15 says avoid it pass not by it turn from it and pass away so I guess the Lord is trying to say to us you know take counsel from godly people and not on godly people Amen. turn away from anything all the pains of evil. Amen, Brother Shrekker. Amen, Amen, my brother. Amen. Amen. Happy New Year. Uh, I'll send you blessed to you and the station and all the listeners. Nice to hear you walk once again. In Jesus' name. Yeah, we always miss you. You know how it is. <laughs> yeah, we, all, we, still, we, we recognize that we always have the Holy Spirit, the Father and God above us in heaven, ruling over us and all the earth and everything that goes on. He's still in charge. Amen, brother. Amen, Amen. my brother. God bless you. Yeah, God bless you. Uh, my brother also in the studio. Nice to hear you. Yeah, praise the Lord for you. Yes, thank you. All okay, right. I'll talk to you later. Yes, right, sure. Bye-bye. Thank you, my brother, indeed. All right, and um, that is what we're saying overall. The counsel of God is from the scriptures. You know, the Lord has been speaking to me about some things. When I say the Lord speaking to me, what I'm saying is in the spirit, the Lord of God is, is showing me some things in the Word of God I've read before. But then what he's doing is always adding this to that and showing me how does that join with that. Now, a lot of things we have to teach the people so we can tell them or get them to come to a place to seek God for their own deliverance from different things. We must teach them in our humility and meekness and whatever. Now, what the Lord is, because like I said before, I question a lot of things just because it's not in the popular domain. Like everybody's not doing it. Everybody doesn't think that way. And I sometimes I question it. And the Lord is showing me this. He say, look, um, I'm going to show you something in the Word of God just like this. I'm, I'm going to show you something like this in the Word of God. We're going to go to Luke and look at something here, what Jesus is saying. But I, I said it before, but I'm going to show you in the scripture. He said, I'm just going to show you in the Word of God um, <laughs> what the Lord is saying. You see, and people could say what, like you could have your own concept and your own idea your idea is not the word of God your idea is just your idea and that's what the Lord has been trying to show me your idea is not the word of God your idea is just your idea he said here in in, um, Luke 24 and 44 he said and he said unto them these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you that all these things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses 
in the prophets in the psalms concerning me now if we go i was just looking at this because we you know we just passed this time but we must give people the foundation that they can start looking and i don't care who it is i don't care how powerful they are i don't care what man of god there is there are some fundamental doctrine that you just cannot override they are above and beyond anything man can tell you even if man try to give you their own justification they cannot go contrary to the scriptures of the word of god amen jeremiah 10 amen the word of God said hear ye the word of the Lord here we with the word of the word of Lord speak it unto you O house of Israel thus saith the Lord learn not the way of the heathen and be not dismayed at the sign of heaven hallelujah for the heathen are dismayed at them for the customs of the people are vain colon for one cut at a tree out of the forest the work of the hands of the workman with the axe they deck it with silver and gold and fasten it with nails and hammers that it move not they are upright as a palm tree but speak not they need they must needs be born because they cannot go be not afraid of them for they cannot do evil neither also is it in them to do good for as much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great uh, and great in might. Who would not fear thee, O King of nations? God is saying, look, I am telling you this. I don't care what you tell me. Do not follow the ways of the heathen. Period. Now what the Lord is saying to me, isn't Jeremiah a prophet of God? Because what the Lord is saying, uh, if Jeremiah tell you this, should I come and tell you something contrary to what Jeremiah told you? No. It's the same God. I came from God. God is in me. What God was telling the people then is the same thing God means now. God is not changing and telling you, well, oh, that's not important. You can follow the hidden if you want once you receive Jesus. No. If you receive Jesus, no, you have to walk in his spirit. Hallelujah. You have to walk in truth of God. That is what God is saying. So God, Jesus cannot violate Jeremiah. And your pastor cannot tell you to violate Jeremiah either. Jeremiah speak, thus say the Lord. You understand me? So the Lord been showing me, um, I think it was Isaiah 23. One day the Lord was speaking to me, showing me Isaiah. Let's take a look at Isaiah 23. Oh, Isaiah 23. We just hear speaking about the word of God, brethren. I, I love it, you know. Isaiah 23. Let's take a look together. I think I read it before. I look at it before. I think I think it's twenty three. Let me just take a look. Isaiah twenty three. Again, what the Lord been speaking to me about? All the kings of the Bible. Now these kings are translated into president and prime ministers now. So if you see back Hezekiah, Jeconiah, whatever, that's the same type and shadow of them now leading men to go against God by doing things contrary to God. So the same kings in the Bible. When you read kings, right now when you're reading kings now, you're still reading the word of God. This kings is not no just Old Testament. This kings is the word of God. So what you see in the book of kings does say Jehovah God right now to prime minister, president. Right. Same thing right now to you right now. The Lord was showing me this word of God. Period. That's it. Um, Isaiah 23 the burden of Tyre how ye ships of Tarshish from for it is the laid with laid to waste so that there is no house no entering in from the land of Chittim it is revealed to them be still ye inhabitants of the isles thou whom the merchant of Zidon that pass over the sea have replenished <laughs> and by great waters the seed of Sena and harvest of the river is her revenue and she is a mat of nations <laughs> so we were reading before about all these different things that they get from different places and they bring different things come here here whatever amen he said be thou ashamed O Zidon for the sea have spoken even the strength of the sea saying I travail not nor bring forth children neither do I nourish up young men nor bring up virgins amen as at the report concerning Egypt 
so shall they, so they be solely pained at the report of Tyree. Amen. Pass ye over to Tarshish. Howl, ye inhabitants of the isle. Is this your joyous city? Whose antiquity is of ancient days? <laughs> I'm saying this, this scripture uh, was given to me um, a couple weeks ago. Um, as we're looking at everything unfolding and seeing what's happening in the world and everything that people going along with and, and stuff like that. And the Lord is showing me that Isaiah 23. Amen. Her, her own feet shall carry her afar off to sojourn. Who had taken this counsel against Tyree, the crowning city whose merchants are princes, whose traffickers are the honorable of the earth? Question. The Lord of hosts had purposed it to strain the pride of, of, of all glory and to bring into contempt all the honorable of the earth. All the honorable of the earth. Pass through thy land as a river, O daughter of Tashish. This is no more. There is no more strength, sorry. He stretched out his hand over the sea. He shook the kingdoms. The, kingdoms. the Lord has given a commandment against the merchant city to destroy the strongholds thereof. And he said, Thou shalt no more rejoice. O thou oppressed virgin daughter of Zidon, arise, pass over to Shittim, there also shall thou have no rest. Behold, the land of the Chaldeans, this people was not, till the Assyrian founded it for them that dwell in the wilderness. <laughs> they set up the towers thereof, they raised up the, 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 the palaces thereof, and he brought it to ruin. Howl, ye sheep of Tarshish, for your strength is laid waste. And it shall come to pass in that day that Tyre shall be forgotten seventy years, according to the days of one king. After the se end of seventy years shall Tyre sing as an harlot. Amen. Take an harp, go after the city, thou harlot, that thou hast been forgotten. Make sweet melody. Sing many songs that thou mayest be remembered. And it shall come to pass after the end of the seventy years that the Lord will visit Tyre and she shall turn to her higher and shall commit fornication with all the kingdoms of the world upon the face of the earth. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is coming in fornication with all the kingdoms of the world? America. Everybody look to America. Hallelujah. And her merchant and her hire shall be holiness to the Lord. It shall not be treasured nor laid up. For her merchandise shall be for them that dwell before the Lord. Dwell before the Lord. Dwell before the Lord. Dwell before the Lord. Before the Lord to eat sufficiently and for durable clothing. Hallelujah. You can read the 24 and continue. But that scripture, Isaiah 23, was given to me uh, a couple of weeks ago. To, to, I, and I meditate on that scripture. But that scripture is saying a lot of stuff. Amen. What we're saying, the place in where we're living right now. Brethren, we have to make up our minds to walk with Jesus. To walk with the Lord. That's our call to you today, brethren out there in Radio Land. Let us walk with the word of God. Let us live according to the scriptures. Let us let everything that anybody tell us find scriptures to back it up. Any practice, let us show me the scriptures. And let the scriptures, the scriptures be confirmed in me. You as a believer, when somebody gives you a scripture, God will confirm that scripture to you. He will make that scripture say what he means it to mean to you. If somebody's trying to deceive you, God will illuminate, excuse me, that scripture to show you that that person is not telling you the truth. They're not for your good. You will see the error in it. Now you can see the error and still say, oh, well, I see it, but I don't care. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. He's man of God. Bishop. No, 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 no. If God show you something, you have to say, God, I see it. I know this is a man of God. I know this is a woman of God, but I don't know why I have this negative feeling or why I have this bad feeling of this word that this person is saying to me. You see, God is not an author of confusion. He said, by their fruits you shall know them. 
Amen. So if your desire is for the Lord, any man speak thus said the Lord, there must be something that weigh you down in the truth of the Lord. There is two things the word of God does. It brings conviction to men that should re repent and turn to God or it glorify God Amen. to lift up the name of Jesus. Anytime the scriptures doesn't do that for you, it is contrary to God. Word of God must bring conviction. When I speak, thus said the Lord, when we speak about Jesus, is either you feel so bad that you want to repent and receive Jesus for the remission of your sins, or you say, glory to God, his word is exalted forevermore. Amen? So when we preach, thus said the Lord, two things can happen. And when it happens to you, hearken unto the word of God. Lean not unto your own understanding, but in all your ways, say, God, I believe you are God. I believe you love me. I want to be called unto your purpose. If you are older today and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, and for the new year you want to start with Christ, you want to start with Jesus, I want you to say this prayer now and mean it from the bottom of your heart. It might sound simple to you. <laughs> that is what God is about. The foolishness of the world. <laughs> Amen. So it might sound foolish to say a little prayer. Yes. That's all it takes, the power of God. Say this prayer now and mean it from the bottom of your heart. Receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior after you seek water baptism. Yes, as a sign of obedience to the word of God. Jesus told John, John, let us do this to fulfill all righteousness. Hallelujah. I know how you feel. You, you are too nothing to tie my sandals. I understand. But let us do this. To fulfill all righteousness in the fear of the Father. Hallelujah. So after you say this prayer, you seek water baptism and you begin your walk with God. Hallelujah. Let's say this prayer now. And mean it from the bottom of your heart. Mommy, daddy, uncle, you might be there. Let's say this prayer before your God. Hallelujah. Dear God, I believe that I am a sinner. And I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ, I believe that Jesus Christ died, in my place, died in my place, paid the penalty for my sins. Paid the penalty for my sins. I, am willing right now I am willing right now to turn from my sins, to turn from my sins and, to accept Jesus Christ and to accept Jesus Christ as my personal Savior and Lord. As my personal Savior and Lord. I commit myself to you, I commit myself to you and ask you, and ask you to send the Holy Spirit, send the Holy Spirit into, my life, into my life to fill me, to fill me and, to take control, and to take control and to help me become, help me become the, kind of person the kind of person you want me to be. You want me to be. And I thank you, Father, and I thank you, Father for, loving me. for loving me. In Jesus' name, in Jesus name. Amen, amen and amen. amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless amen. God. If you have said that prayer, as simple as that prayer song is the power of God unto salvation. Brethren, if you have said that prayer with your whole heart, you say, God, I believe that you are God. Yes, I'm going through some tribulation. Yes, I'm having some headache. Yes, I'm going through poverty. Yes, I'm broke. Yes, what you say, God, I want eternal life in heaven. I acknowledge my sin. I'm telling you, God will declare himself to you, brethren. And let me say this. The more you give to God is the more God gives to you. What I'm saying, I'm saying, when you come to God, you have to be on purpose for God. If nobody don't tell you that, you're not going to understand. You might say, well, how come he's talking like that? No, it's what he's giving to God. What he's doing with God. How much he's considering God in his everyday life. Then God is giving him more peace, more revelation, more security, more acknowledgement, more comfort. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So once you come to Christ, you start making up your mind that I want to serve the Lord. Find a Bible-believing church where you can worship God and be edified in the Word of God. Where you can join with other people, other saints. Now, the church building is not really the church of God to say the church of God. But the church building will always be relevant to God. He said, the gates of hell shall not prevail against my church. Hallelujah. So as much as your body is the temple of the living God, in that sense of singularity unto God, the body of Christ where members and believers are gathered together to worship God will always be relevant in God. Because everybody is different. Some people 
need to be among other people to help them to be strengthened or to perform the duties of God, to be baptized, to whatever you need those functions. Amen. So we're always going to need the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. So let's find a Bible believing church where you can grow in the word of God. And for 2017, let me say this to you. You have an obligation to your brother. Do not be a hypocrite. Don't sit down with them and say, well, they're doing this. No, 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 no. If they're doing this, maybe they're blind. They can't see it. Don't talk bad about them, but tell them. Or be on purpose to tell them, Pastor, what oh, come on, let's, let's let's look at that. Oh, let's see, let's come on. That I don't I don't feel that right. Show me. You know, show them that you are willing to lead them to what God is showing you. Amen. Don't just criticize a man to criticize a man if we're not bringing a solution. Or we're not trying to help them to come out of the contrariness. Amen. So we bless God for all the pastors, all the bishop, all the prophet, everybody. We're not trying to condemn you. We have one God to live for. One king of kings. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We have one obligation to the great I am. King, Alpha, and Omega. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we want to be right with God, brethren. We want to be right with God. I thank God for my wife today because I always say it on the radio for true. My wife always helped to restore me to the foundation because I could talk a lot of stuff and make I still live contrary in a little way here, there, and where. She said, hey, <laughs> and vice versa. I have to correct her too. Yes. Wife, submit to your own husband. Very important for women to understand too. And the Lord has been showing me this. Many women will not make it to the kingdom of heaven because they have no respect for their husband. They want to override their husband. You're not going to make it. I'm telling you, trust me. You can trust me. Trust me. God has some fundamental foundation that he has set up that don't care how much he loves you. You cannot violate it and get away with God. So the wife have an obligation to humble to, to the man. Now when I say humble, what he's saying is, when the husband speak, allow his word to fall on the ground. Consider the advices your husband is giving you. Yes, that's all. Let him feel like a man. When he gives you advice, listen to him. It doesn't mean he right, but listen to him. He's the head of the house. Amen. Listen to what he says. You might correct him, but give him a chance to tell you, I am the husband, and this is what I say, or this is what I think you should do. Because God can use anybody to sharpen the other. Your wife can be the one to give you a very productive statement to help you grow in finance or whatever. But if you don't listen to her, how would you get it? God might give it to her to give to you. To see if you're obedient. <laughs> I tell you, the big man is something else. That's the way he could do it. He will do it through your wife to see if you ever listen to your wife. And vice versa, he could give your husband a message to give you to see if you respect his words. So we have an obligation on both sides of the aisles to respect each other and be on purpose for God to obey God. Hallelujah. So we bless God for you today. I thank you so much, everybody. Those that are called and, and, and wish us well, we thank you so much. Those that were not able to call, those that, those that still have a strong heart, you know, what we're saying is so heavy for you, heavy food, a heavy, heavy banana. <laughs> you need something to bring it down? Let us look to God. Whatever we speak about, search the scriptures. See if these things are so. Ask God for revelation. Show, ask him to show you. Lead you into all truth. You don't want some. You want all truth. Hallelujah. When he see your heart is ready to receive it, he will reveal to you what it means. Because some revelations, they are too strong for us. We're not ready to change. We're not ready to walk with God, holy and solely. So some things he will hold it off from you. Amen. So let's be willing, first of all, to seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and he will reveal more revelation that we can walk in the beauty of holiness father i thank you for my life today i humble before you god anything that i've done or said contrary to your word i repent before all this listeners hallelujah i give you praise for my life i thank you for brother edwin thank you for sister carol Thank you for the family of Choice Radio. Thank you for all the listeners who are praying for us and who support us and who is with us in the word of God. We pray that you will give us this oneness, one faith, one baptism, one Lord. Give us this unity in the word of God that we together 
can bring men to know you the alpha and the omega omega the alpha and the omega the beginning and the end the first and the last the true and living god hallelujah we glorify your name we worship you we believe that you are god you created heaven and earth hallelujah the earth is your footstool we believe all about that you are god great and mighty god and we just humble before you today and we thank you for our life what you have done in our life bless our families i pray for my brother edwin his mother that you will allow him to see her again and and, and spend some more time with her hallelujah as your will will be done yes, okay. in his life we bless you god i thank you for my my mother and my family members as you continue to keep us together thank you for my wife and her family and everybody else we pray that you will bless families together lord jesus that we all can be strong for you to run this that is said before you god father i thank you for pastor Ferdinand today we didn't get in contact in the right way and he was not able to come because um you know, you know, normally come the first um, Saturday. So, Pastor Ferdinand, God bless you. And I pray God will keep you and bring you and mold you and shape you and bring you more and more into the fullness of the Almighty God. I thank you for what you have imparted in my life over the period of time I know you. as Pastor Ferdinand. Um, always in the Word of God. Always in the Scripture. And that is what I thank God that He have aligned me with Him. He's always quoting His Scripture. Regardless to what, He's always showing you His Scripture. Turn the pages. I like that. I bless God for your life today, Pastor. So we pray that God will keep you and God will, will bring us to that place of fulfillment in the name of Jesus. We thank everybody. Be blessed of the Lord. Have a great day in Christ Jesus. I know my wife says she's going to prepare something nice and simple this afternoon. So we bless God. I'm ready to go eat something. So guys, be blessed of the Lord. But Edwin is back in tongue. So he's going to be on later on to serenade you in the word of God and lift up the name of Jesus in his own fashion his own style how God has anointed him to do it we thank God for every believer whoever you are wherever you're from whatever it is God is not about country and all that God is about souls hallelujah whoever we are let us come together in the unity in the oneness of the faith of Jesus Christ and lift him up that men can know that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen. amen. So guys, be blessed of the Lord. Have a blessed day today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that makes the rain to walk. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. You are the God that opens every door. You are the God that makes the link to us. Oh, yeah. You are the God who makes the blind eyes see. You are the God who gives me victory. For an Omega
Oh God. 